Okay, if English can be weird, then I say let's be weird as well and use that weirdness to our mathematical advantage. So let's start doing some mathematics. Let's start doing uh, addition. Let's do addition. Um, here's the addition problem. Let's make a, a nice simple one. 251 plus 124. How about that one? Okay. I don't think that's too bad. In fact, um, actually, what's the answer? Uh, let's see. Uh, 2 plus 1 is 3. 5 plus 2 is 7. 1 plus 4 is 5. Okay, the answer is 375. So if you're watching me just then, you might say, James, weren't you just being a bit weird? Didn't you just do it from left to right? And I did. Aren't you meant to do long addition from right to left? And I say, oh, okay, what happens if you go from right to left? 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. 2 plus 1 is 3. You get the same answer. It doesn't matter. Whoa, whoa. Okay, maybe this was too nice an example. Let's do a more complicated example. This is going to be fun. Uh, let's do something like 358 plus 274. There we go. All right, I'm going to go how I was taught to read. In fact, back in Australia, I was taught to read left to right. In all my classes, I read left to right. And I thought it was weird that I was being told in math class to always go from right to left. So I'm going to go from left to right again. Let's see what happens. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. 8 plus 4 is 12. The answer is 512 to 12. There it is. I might draw little bars to separate those things. 512 to 12 is the answer. That looks great. Whoa! In fact, let me draw a picture of this to show this is actually mathematically correct. There's nothing mathematically wrong with that answer. I mean, you might not like it, but it's actually mathematically fine. So what do we do? We did 358. We did three hundreds, three hundreds, five tens, there's the 5t, 50, and here's the eight ones. And we had to add to this the number 274. We had to add to this picture two hundreds, okay, there's two hundreds, seven tens, I can add those in, no worries, there are the seven tens, and add four more ones, not a problem, there's four more ones. And when I look at my picture, I see I really am getting five of these, I really am getting five one hundreds. And I really am getting twelve of these, I really am getting twelve tens. And I really am getting twelve ones, I really am getting that, twelve ones. The answer truly is five hundred and twelve T twelve. Okay. Nothing wrong with that answer, it just seems weird to our ears. Society is not expecting that answer. It's mathematically correct. I should, got full, I should get full marks if I ever wrote that down, but I probably won't because it just seems too weird to people. So what can we do to fix up that answer? Well, it is meant to be a 10-1 machine after all, so we know every group of 10 explodes to become one dot, one place to the left. So there's definitely 10 dots within there. So where's a group of 10? That's 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I could take these 10 dots here and I could explode them. That would leave two behind. Okay, let's do it. Kaboom! Those 10 dots explode, uh, leave two behind and make an extra dot here. So I've, now I have two dots over here. I made an extra dot there. That's now six. The answer is 602 T12. <laughs> okay, that's still correct. There's actually nothing mathematically wrong with that answer. It's just sounding too weird to people's ears. So what can I do now? Well, I could explode another 10. Let's find another 10 here. Uh, there's 10. There's 10. They'll leave two behind if I explode them. So let's do it. Kaboom! 10 explode. Leave two behind. Make an extra dot here. And now I've got two dots that got left behind. And I made an extra dot there. There's the answer. 603 T2. So this is really the number 632 in disguise. There it is. Grand and good. All right. All right. Everything I did here was fine and solid and correct but it just seemed weird. So what was I taught to do in school? Let me do the problem again and let's compare methods. So in school I was told to go right to left. All right, so let's, let's uh, do this again. So the number is 355, uh, five tens, there we go, and eight. So in school, what do I have to do? I have to do it right to left, eight plus four. So I say, okay, eight plus four, add the four units. I can add the four units. And now I've got 12. Now, I want to write 12 first because I really have the 12 there. But school says, no, 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 you just write down two and make the extra 10 explode away and become a dot there. You just write down the two and you make an extra dot with the tens. Whoa. So instead of having five dots, I've now got six dots. Now let's add these seven dots to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great, I now have 13 dots there. So I want to write 13, 
But school won't let me write 13 right now. They say, no, no, no. James, 10 of these would explode. They would leave three behind. All right, kaboom. There's leaves three behind. So just write the three. Just write the three. There's the three. And make an extra dot here with those three there. That's now four dots. Now add two dots to those four dots, those two hundreds there, add them in, and now I've got my six dots there. So I lost those two there. There we go. There's the answer, 632. So actually, actually, both approaches are correct. Both are just adding all the, the, ten, the units together, or the tens together, or the hundreds together. If you go right to left, school wants you to do all the explosions as you move along. If you do my approach and go left to right, I just got the answers and then did all the explosions at the end. We're doing the same explosions. We're actually doing the same work. It's just in a different order and it's fine. All good, correct paths for doing math are actually good and correct. And it's fun doing it sort of my way. I kind of like what I do. It's quirky and mathematically solid. Um, so let's try another example. Let's try something like, and I'll make something up right now. 6,392 plus 1,880. Eight. Let's do that. All right. Now the straightforward answer without fussing, 6,000s and 1,000s will make 7,000s. 300s and 800s make 1,100s. 910s and 810s will make 1710s. And 21s and 81s will make 10ones. The answer is 7,117 T10. Whoa, whoa. Now that is mathematically correct. There's actually nothing mathematically wrong with that answer. It's just that society think it's too weird and don't know what you're talking about. So what could we do to fix up this answer for society's sake? Well, um, I could draw a picture of all the dots and so forth, but let me see if I can just do it in my mind's eye this time, because I am imagining the picture. And I can see right now, for example, these 10 dots would explode, kaboom, make an extra dot there. So I can actually think of this, they'll leave none behind, make an extra dot there, so there will now be 18 dots there, I'll still have the 11 there, and I'll still have the seven, seven there. All right. So the answer is 7,1118T, nothing. All right, uh, what can I do now? Oh, 10 dots in here could explode. 10 would explode, leave one behind. You seeing that in your mind's eye? Because I'm seeing it in my mind's eye. All right, 10 would explode, leave one behind, leave one behind, oh, let's leave the 11 there. Make one behind, it makes an extra dot there, so that's eight. Keep the 18 the same, keep the zero the same. The answer is 8,118T, zero. There we go. And let me just finish up this one. So I've got eight. 1, 18, 0, what would happen next? I can see that 10 dots in there would explode. They'd leave 8 behind, make an extra dot there, 2. I still have the 8 there unchanged, still have the 0 there. There is my final answer. My final answer is this, 8,280. That's it. Whoa. And if you like, and you practice going from right to left again, you'll get the same answer. You'll just be doing all the explosions as you go along. I left all my explosions to the end. It doesn't matter, it's just style. All is good and fabulous, quirky and fun and weird. <laughs>